Hello everybody, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the object selection tool, which I really like to use whenever I'm editing gaming thumbnails, whenever I need to get a cutout of the gun or the weapon or even a character. And it works especially well whenever it's a very clear uh, you know, object for it to select. That's when you're gonna get the best results. If the object isn't real clear and it's the background kind of, you know, uh, bl blends into it a little bit, it's probably not going to do that good of a job. But for a game like Valorant, in this case, this is a pretty clear cut gun here. Uh, it does have a bright colored skin on it. So to use the object selection tool, you want to go to the top left and you're going to need to right click, you know, this selection area and make sure you are on the object selection tool. Once you click that, you can just hover over an object. As you can see, it's already kind of highlighting what it's going to select. So we're going to go ahead and click and select that. Now, as you can see, it didn't select the inside of this hand. So what I do to fix that is just right click up here at the selection tool again and change to the quick selection tool. Uh, make sure it's not too big or it'll select too much. Um, and then I like to just go in here and click around, drag it around, and now it's selected. So now it's selected what I want. I can control C, control V, and now it cut out that, which now it's not perfect. Like if you were to use the pin tool or something like that. But for me, if I just wanna add a glow behind it, um, of some type and you know things like that then it works well enough and it's super super quick and easy now while we're here i'll go ahead and show you how to select uh you know a character or we'll see just how that works out so we have cypher here character in valorant we're gonna go ahead and make sure we are on you know the background one again that contains him uh, we're gonna right click up here object selection tool and it's not highlighting him so what we're gonna do is actually click and drag around him and see what it does see how good of a job it does so Looks like it did a pretty good job. So if it doesn't highlight like this, all you have to do is click and drag around it just like that. And now if I control V, uh, we now have a rough, nice cutout of him. But, you know, things I like to do with that, uh, even though it's a rough cutout, is just, you know, come in here, add an outer glow. Uh, let's just say we want to add like a, I don't know, a white glow behind him. Or we'll do, uh, yeah, we'll just do a white glow. Um, now, as you can see, we can just get a nice white glow behind him. Uh, you know, however we want just to kind of really highlight him. So if we're making a thumbnail or something, it's really going to make him pop more. So that's uh, some really good ways to use the object selection tool to make quick edits in Adobe Photoshop. If you enjoy this type of content, quick to the point, helpful tutorials uh, about Photoshop and other things, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.